Salutations and good morrow everyone, welcome back to another Grounded video where today we're going to be talking about the best way to take out a wolf spider. I have four different builds for you guys, ranging from the awesome to the weird, um, but we are going to be going over all of them today. I have built these four classes that I've come up with out of playing this game way, way, way too much and being able to learn the best ways in order to take on all the different kinds of bugs in this game. Now what I will tell you is I'm going to have to reload this save every time that I've got to fight this wolf spider because I've killed so many of them in my backyard that this seems to be the only place that they respawn and I don't really want to wait for them to respawn but what I will tell you guys you need to do for every single one of these builds is you guys are going to want to make sure you have smoothies and you guys are going to want to make sure that you guys have the healing items as well the little fiber bandages all of them are important but guys let's hop in with our first build the tank build as I like to call it or the run in and whack it build uh, for this build you're going to need coupe de grass you are going to need the meat shield and you are going to need cardio fan okay and you are going to want the mint mallet equipped and all of the ladybug stuff equipped what you're going to do is you're going to slap seven to start your healing right away and then you're going to run in and start hitting him now if you keep moving to the side he will not be able to hit you as much but make sure you're constantly blocking his attacks as well okay as soon as he's dizzy get in there and get him hit that healing one more time make sure that he doesn't kill you and then get back in and wipe him out. Now that is a tank build. You will continue to take residual effects. So just go ahead and hit a healing bandage on your guys' way out. Wait for yourself to heal up all the way before you try to take on anything else. If you have to, drink another smoothie because it automatically heals you fully and deal with any gnats that are bugging you as well. Okay, let's hop into the next build. Okay guys, so here we are with what I like to call the rogue build, okay? So how are we going to work this down? And I'm paused because as you can see, it's already threat detected. The spider's decided he wants to attack me again. But what I wanted to talk about with this one is you're going to see I'm wearing all spider gear. I'm also have a spider fang dagger. And for my stats, I have uh, the coupe de grass. This isn't important for all of them. Just keep it on. This time I have cardio fan and then also fresh defense. The reason why I have fresh defense is because without the ladybug armor, you're going to take more burn damage and you're not going to heal over time. So you're going to need something to help with that burn damage that comes from the spider's attacks. That's why you put fresh defense on. Now there are other things like the daredevil perk and some of the other newer perks that came out those don't apply here you guys can see i don't have them in this build that doesn't apply but let me show you guys what you got to do with this uh with fighting this spider now so like before you guys are going to want to keep your um healing items on and you're gonna be doing a lot more uh, up close attacking you're gonna need to heal a lot more during this build because you're not gonna be as full of defense but as you can see, as long as you're keeping an eye on your health, making sure you're blocking the spider's attacks, make sure you guys are hitting your healing items every time, you guys can very quickly take out a wolf spider with just a spider fang dagger and also um, the spider gear. Now, the reason why you use the spider gear is because it gives you something called hyper stamina. It allows you to build your stamina a lot quicker. The spider fang dagger, you could swing really quick. You may say, Sim, why don't you use the larva blade? Because the larva blade actually is not as strong as the spider fang dagger. So keep that spider fang dagger, guys. Make sure you guys keep it repaired up and keep one on you. Also, why the other perks and stuff is because all of these are here to help you guys be able to get your stamina back faster and be able to keep on swinging because with this build it's kind of run in and swing as quick as you can and try to dodge as many of the attacks as you can on the spider as well okay guys let's move on to the next build after we take care of this spiderling that wants to get us Okay, guys, now here we go. This is what I would call the archer build, okay? We are into our third build, and this one is a little bit different. Before you guys look at me and say, Sim, what the heck? Where's your crow hat? Hold on a second. There's a reason for this, okay? Because with this build, you need to use your gas arrows, okay? That's why you keep the gas mask on, not the um art not the feather cap yes you could do more damage every hit with the arrows with a feather cap but you just don't need to do that when you guys could take as much damage as you can here with this build okay also statuses here you got yourself the um sharpshooter you got fresh defense because of that burn because you're not wearing the helmet for the uh ladybug gear so you're gonna need something to help you from that burn and then coupe de grass because it's so important to have those criticals now the spider is already wanting my giblets so we are gonna try to run away a little bit but this is what you're gonna do 
the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to equip your gas arrows. Now, don't mind me getting hit here because I didn't uh, come up here all prepared. But you're going to want to start shooting your gas arrows at the ground. Get as many of them down as you can and start getting this spider taken out by the gas, okay? Once you're out of gas arrows, make sure you're healing. Make sure he stays in that gas area. Go ahead and equip any other arrows you have. I happen to have feather arrows here. And just start shooting them in the face. As many times as you can, feather arrows work the best. But as you guys can see, I had to shoot four regular arrows. And I had to use four gas arrows. So eight arrows is all it actually took in order to take down the wolf spider. Now, I took a lot of damage. But like I said, that's why you keep the gas mask on and you have the ladybug other pieces on because then you can take more damage, you keep those perks on, and you can very easily take out a wolf spider, especially if you could catch it off guard with those smoke bombs or those stink arrows because then you don't have to use as many healing items as I did because it aggroed me early. Okay, let's move on to the last build that's a little goofy and it's a little bit fun and apparently we have to try to hit another uh, spider here that's freaking out. Sir, can you please calm down? We're trying to have a good time. No? Alright then. Okay guys, so for this last build, this one is a little bit goofy so bear with me i call this the caster build but it's not really a caster um it just involves using a lot of bombs now this is the most dangerous and the silliest way to kill a wolf spider because the wolf spider is going to run at you this is going to require the most tactics in order to actually use this um build in order to take down a wolf spider okay because you have to throw bombs at it and the wolf spider can kick the bombs away so you have to be careful on your placement of bombs that's why we're wearing complete ladybug gear because it's going to give you the most defense for statuses guys you're going to be having not grass chopper that's not what you want you don't want that at all you're going to want meat shield you're going to want coop to grass and you're going to want um fresh defense okay because that's just going to give you guys the criticals the fresh defense is going to cut down on the spider's burn and also the bomb burn and then the meat shield gives you more health as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to close out here and we're just going to start hucking uh bombs at this guy Guy, but you got to be careful because you pretty much just got to huck bombs right underneath them and try not to kill yourself with your bombs watch out they hurt but then you just keep on throwing bombs and hope and pray that you get enough bombs down to take out the wolf spider now the bombs are going to fly all around so you kind of got to get them when you can make sure you're using your health potions like i wasn't and then there you go Technically, five bombs later, you've taken out the wolf spider. That is the most ridiculous way I know that there's an easy way to take out a wolf spider. I have punched a wolf spider to death, personally, and it took over 200 punches in order to kill a wolf spider. Do not use your fists. Waste of time. Do not use any other weapons. Waste of time. Just go ahead and use one of these four tactics for me. And if you guys have any other builds you guys happen to know of, go ahead and leave those down in the comments. But my best suggestion for all of these builds is use them all together, guys. Guys. Use all these builds together when you guys have all four people on your team and you will be able to wipe out anything in this game without a problem. But thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you guys can, please leave me a like down below or a dislike, letting me know what you guys do or don't like on the channel. Make sure you guys leave me a comment down below of some cool builds you guys have or just saying hey, and I'll make sure I heart that's that comment for you guys. Subscribe today, turn that bell notification to all, and as always, I will see all of you guys in the next one.